what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Takashi69 and Nicki Minaj released their collaboration, Trolls. Before it ever came out, it was the subject of much controversy as people attack Nikki for working with dun, 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 a snitch. Now that the song is getting airplay, people are paying attention to the lyrics, mainly that of Nikki's. Man, I'm going to tell you something right off the rip. Y'all better leave Nicki Minaj alone. There are some lyrics in the song where she went after Usher and Lisa Ray McCoy. Somebody ushered this nigga into a clinic. My flow's still sick. I ain't talking a pandemic. Damn. Tell us how you really feel, Nikki. Why did Nikki go after Usher like that? Why, why she do Usher like that? Usher was on a podcast. I can't remember which one it was, but I did watch him say that Nikki got her blueprint from Lil' Kim. So perhaps this is Nikki's way of getting back at him. It ain't no perhaps. This is her way of getting back at him. Now, a more direct line came when she went after Lisa Ray. Dollar, dollar bill, come get her. Even your man know, Nikki's do it better. She said that to start off her portion of the track. This is a dig at Lisa Ray McCoy, who starred in the Players Club. In the movie, Dollar Bill is the owner of the club. Lisa Ray once accused Nicole Murphy, another Nikki, get it, of wrecking her marriage. So, here comes Nikki. Say, man, whoever fronting on Nicki Minaj as an artist need to stop. I mean, whatever you think of as a person, that's one thing. See, I, I can separate the artist from the person. I can do that. Well, almost in all cases. But it's hard for me to listen to, to, to 6 ix 9 uh, But... Let me be objective, as, as, as objective as I can be about this song. The song was worth listening to, to hear what Nikki was saying. That's what I wanted to hear. Overall, the song is trash to me. It's straight boo-boo. But Nikki makes the song interesting. When I listen to 6 9 all I'm, I'm just looking at, hey, this dude, rat, this dude is, is, this dude can't be trusted. But, you know, people mad at Nicki for doing the song with him. The thing is this, I wouldn't do a song with him. But I understand, it's music. As Nicki explained, these rappers, they're not street. So when they start talking about snitching, Hey, she's like, hey, look, I'm not a rapper. You know, I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a street person. I'm a rapper. I'm making music. And all these rappers run around here with these guns. They ain't busting nothing. So you can't take them seriously. That's why you really couldn't take 6 9 seriously, even though he played the street game. He was out there in the streets acting like a gangster. But we know that he was acting. Even though he was actually doing gangster stuff, we know that he was being propped up. We know that he wasn't an authentic gangster. Still, and yet, he played the game. Therefore, he should have lived by the code. And so that's the problem I think that most people have with dude. If he was just an artist and he got caught up in something, uh, somebody pointed him out about something, or he had to, the feds came to him about something and he said something, that's different, but he's out there being active. It's different when you're active. He was active. So all street rules apply in that case. Now, I'll tell you something else, fam. If we're going to talk about working with snitches, a lot of us go to work every day and work with snitches. 
there's people on your job, whether you work at AT&T, you work for Metro, you work at school, you work for the police department, you work at the hospital, wherever you work, there are snitches all around you. You may not know, but some of you know the snitches. You know, if you tell, you're snitching, period. So you got to look at that also. But I, I just can't do dude, though. I can't. I can't, like, listen to dude and take him seriously. When I listen to music, I want to know that the person is being as authentic as possible. There are people that don't like Will Smith. They never liked Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. I love Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince music. And when they start talking about parents don't understand, I listened to it from Will's lens. He wasn't raised in the streets like me. He was raised, you know, by, you know, a, a, a suburban family. So that's a lot different than how I was raised. So his experience is different. I could never write a song like parents just don't understand. My song would have been parents would beat your ass. So I can respect the song, the authenticity of the song. Parents don't understand. A lot of people don't get it. Brand new funk. Love that song. That's his experience. You know, he had he didn't have a street gutter type experience growing up. He was being true to himself. So I could respect that. I respect that way more than I respect the dude talking gangster shit and he ain't lived none of it. I respect that way more. I look at Will Smith as way more authentic and way more real than any of these dudes that talk that gangster shit and ain't lived it. But anyway, that's my two cent fam. Oh, uh, Nikki said something else that stood out to me. She, she said, talking about snitches, uh, when the snitches in your camp, they're going to have to send their best for the champ. I like that. You got to send your best for the champ. Anyway, check out the song and let me know what you think. I'm not putting a link in the description because it's a video and I ain't trying to really, you know, do all that. Anyway, drop a comment, fam. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?